as his name is long too. So he's going to talk to us about milk quality attributes relevant to Sri Lanka. He's an experienced planter, farm manager, and agriculturalist, and with human resource management talents being always directed towards productivity and the social welfare objectives of the plantations and other related communities spanning over three decades. Having gained academic qualifications, confidence and motivation as an organized person with excellent communication and interpersonal skills. He has worked as an All Island Dairy Association of Sri Lanka uh, till date. He's the management estate development consultant, public trustee. Uh, he's the director of Mahaveli Coconut Plantation Limited since uh, um, 2018. He's a chief executive officer of Ambevela Dairy Complex. He was Chief Executive Officer, Director, Mahavili Livestock Enterprises Limited, and he held, held various positions in National Livestock Development Board uh, until 2015. This is none other than Mr. Munavira Arachige Chitral Hilarion Munavira. Here we go, Mr. Munavira. All stage sets to you. You have 10 minutes for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I hope you can you can see me on. Oh yes. Am I on? You look uh, like well, uh, actually, I, I I got a very very uh, broad topic to talk about. The the topic is with regard to build quality. In fact, uh, I am representing all the companies in Sri Lanka which are involved in processing, which are twenty two companies which I represent as a as an association. And I would like to specifically mention that the biggest problem that the Sri Lankan dairy farm is facing is the quality of milk. With regard to the quality of milk, I can, I can, I'm, specific, I'm specifically referring to the, the quality of milk that comes from the farmers. You know, most of the, uh, the, the milk that we are collecting uh, does not conform to the requirements or does not conform to the standards that we require for our processing factories. So this is a major problem. Uh, I, I must be also very frank that uh, the, at present we pay for good milk rupees 110 to 150 rupees per liter. That is good milk with good bacterial count, with, with good bacterial counts and with low somatic cell counts. And uh, I think if you look at that price, it is one of the highest prices that we pay. Uh, if you look at the, the global market, it is one of the highest. So. Uh, the problem that is that is that is erosion in Sri Lanka is the milk quality, and our extension officers have to be very very uh, stringent and uh, educate the farmers on how to produce quality milk. In fact, I have based my uh, my uh, my uh, presentation on the Sri Lankan scenario, and I, I would like to start off uh, by first going from slide one, where I, I where can can you just come on to the slide one, please? Can you just uh, can can you up, can you upload the slide one? Uh, this is slide one. Two. Uh, no, slide two. Slide two. This one? Uh, no, next one. Next one. I'm sorry, I can't do it from this end. So you'll have to do it from that end. Slide two. What is milk? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see the slides? Uh, uh, I, I can see only the first slide here, Tom. Now, what is milk? That is what I, it's on the screen. I can't see it on my screen. Uh, it's not uh, showing in mine either. So there's a problem. The screen. Because if I, uh, Let me do this again. Sorry. Can you see this now? Yes, uh, I think you have gone to slide number five. You have to go to slide number two. This one? No, the previous one. What is it? Right. Ah, yes, that's right. I have put these things in a in a very very. Next one. Next one. Please move on to the next one. Sorry about it. Sorry okay. about it. I'm not sure. Right. That's it. I've just given a breakdown of what what milk is 
and what 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 milk is meant and what milk is all about can you go to the next slide please now number 3 here i give the composition of milk and uh, on the third slide i mention why milk is good for humans please go to the next slide because i want to finish this slide so that i can get on with the discussion what is meant by good quality milk this is very important to be uh, for the farmers to be educated that it should be free of debris free of off flavors abnormal colors low in bacteria and somatic cell counts and free of chemicals antibiotics and normal composition and acidity can you please go to the next one please what what is quality milk control quality milk control is to ensure that milk and milk products are safe and healthy for humans to consume it should meet required standards in chemical composition purity levels bacterial presence and other microorganisms free of pathogenic materials under hygiene at milking parlor and cip of milking utensils should be appropriate at all levels to prevent cross contamination milk should be fed uh, milking cow should be fed a balanced ration not involving uh, feeding ingredients which are which are with dense milk now why, why i mention this is because very many farmers are not not aware of these factors so that is the very reason why that our farmers are failing to meet up to certain requirements of milk quality can you go to the next slide please the one after this i think we are i think you have to go to slide number 7 right uh we have to educate our farmers on simple tests which have to be carried out at farm level one is this organoleptic test that is air smell visual observations then density meter test and lactometer test measure the specific density and clot on boiling test can you go on to the next one and i am by 8 these are the types of tests that we do in our factories this we do at our laboratories in order to uh, evaluate the the, the 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 milk that we are at the receiving end if these standards are met this uh, this milk is taken on to for processing to our factories so it is very important that the quality of milk that we receive from our, in our factories meet up to these given standards can you go on to the next slide please slide number 9 important indicators in milk quality and control for consumption and processing uh we the today's context somatic cell count in fluid milk segment should be at, at acceptable levels because somatic cell counts give a indication of other health and somatic cell counts are very important when we purchase milk from farm from farm even in bulk or in, in quantities from any any community in sri lanka and also if you go to number 2 the low bacteria count there are certain standards that we have mentioned it is very important that they keep up to these standards and also uh, the last para i mentioned that if necessary we can even take it to our laboratories for laboratory testing so that good milk is always received at our ends right can you go to number 10 please uh, what is what is standardization of milk it is defined as adjustment of one or more milk constituents to a nominal nominated level in the production process relevant to the industry this normally involves reducing butter fat content by additional skim milk and through the removal of cream okay these are the slides that i have presented now i would like to get on with the discussion why i mentioned about the quality of milk and the standards is that if our farmers now how much of development that we do for for the enhancements of the dairy industry if we don't keep up with the quality standards we actually cannot utilize the milk in a very efficient manner so whatever that we produce in sri lanka our total requirement is i think 1200 million liters at the given time we are meeting only only uh, for some uh, i think the exclu only 436 million liters so there is a deficit of about 60% this 60% is compensated through importation of milk products and milk powder which cost sri lankan which cost the sri lankan government i think something to the tune of about 400 billion 436 billion rupees which is a very high amount so if we want to develop the dairy industry and sustain production of quality quality milk is very important this is a message that our extension officers have to carry to the farmer we are even because very many of our farmers i think 
out of the 700,000 farmers in Sri Lanka, almost 90% are small holders. They are people who are doing, uh, the, the, actually they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are farming systems are, you know, secondary because they are mostly involved in agriculture. They do it as a part time. So, which means that their involvement in, in, in their in their day to day dairy activity is very minimal, and it is the husband and wife combination and the family combination that comes in. So, they have to be educated that whatever milk that they produce should be of quality. This message has to go to them. We as processors, we as people who represent the the the, the bulk of the the processing in Sri Lanka, if we can meet up, if you if the farmers can meet up to the standards. We can come anywhere and pay you a premium price for the milk. So the farm gate price, although it is decided by the government, we as the private sector, we can we can fix prices, we can give you premium prices if the quality is improving. So it is up to the extension officers, it is up to the authorities to encourage these farmers, to educate these farmers and keep them informed of the type of standards that I have put up in this presentation so that the the industry will grow and also the farmers will benefit more from through income uh, if you look at the cost of production in a in a in an extensive you know you know on a, on, a, on a very intensive scheme where me i know as a ceo of a former one of the biggest companies in sri lanka our cost of production and our farm gate and our price that we paid for milk the margin was only 10 rupees whereas in the farmers it is the margin of profit is about 30 rupees because of their family involvements. So, uh, if the you can make money in in dairying only if you get a good farm grade price. So, the milk quality plays a very very significant role. How much of development we plan if we cannot produce quality good milk, we are falling short of very many things. And apart from same. The, now the present government is also willing to give out uh, incentives, subsidies for people to get involved in dairy as country because of the simple fact that we are spending such a huge amount of money on milk powder imports, which is 60% of our requirement. So there is ample avenues for the Sri Lankan dairy industry to develop if we, apart from the increase in the production, we also improve our quality. That will bridge a lot of differences between the cost of production and the net sale leverage. And we, as the private sector of Sri Lanka, which I represent, we vouch and we give you undertaking. We are willing to buy good quality milk at a premium price if the quality is sustained. It is up to our extension officers because the private sector cannot do it all over in Sri Lanka, right? They have to also get involved. Get involved and the government also has to step in uh, to educate these farmers on how the quality of milk should be improved. I, I just made a certain presentation on the standards that we require. And I think you all can comprehend what I told you about. So this is the message that I want to send to everybody in Sri Lanka, to every part of Sri Lanka, that we are willing to buy if you produce good milk. And the processing factories actually we are in short supply we are actually in short supply to keep up the full production level because of the quality involved because when we are doing uhd milk when we are doing milk products we have to sustain standards and we have to uh, take in only quality milk that is suitable for processing unfortunately almost 60 percent of what is produced by the small farmers or maybe even higher percentage is does not conform to the standards that we require. So invariably, the farmers are receiving a very low price. I think it's about 60 to 70 rupees, right? They can easily jack this price up if the quality is improved. So think about what I told you seriously. Just see that this message is carried across. We give you undertaking. We are open. Our companies are open to you, right? We are, we are representing and collecting milk from all parts of Sri Lanka. COVID-19 never affected us. Right? Our supply chains are running, our factories are running, we, we kept the nation going. We were the only industry that never complained. There were so many other industries that complained, but we never complained, we kept the systems going. So we are very positive. Only thing is, see that the message that I conveyed to the dairy community on sustaining of quality 
is very important to us. We will look after the balance, but if you have quality milk in any part of the island, if the quantity is right, we will come right across and collect it at the premium price. I think uh, that's those are, although my, my topic is very wide and my time frame is very small, uh, of course, I can talk on very many subjects in animal husbandry because I've been involved in the National Livestock Development Board for almost three and a half decades, having represented the corporate uh, sector also uh, as, a, as a CEO for uh, uh, another period of time. I have experience on both lines and I have also been involved in the importation of cattle to Sri Lanka. I've been, import, I've been involved in so many activities relevant to dairy farming. And today's topic that was given to me was a very simple topic, right? I could only put a message across so that the message is carried across to everybody that everybody I hope understood what I said and uh, it is a great privilege for you all to have given me this forum to speak to you and we will be always there to support you all in all endeavors and in all your efforts for the development of the dairy industry in Sri Lanka.